The AVCA College Prep Combine is a data gathering session that collects eight different metrics that measure an individual's athletic potential. The following eight metrics are put into an algorithm that make up your AVCA VPI score. Now, let's explain each one in more detail. This is pretty self-explanatory, but we measure it with the athlete standing with both feet flat on the floor to the top of the head. The final number is total inches. The athlete stands with both feet flat and reaches their dominant arm as high as possible without moving their feet. This is measured in inches from the floor to the top of the fingertips. She is in standing position and can load prior to a jump with no step. Both hands are extended as high as she can using the appropriate blocking technique. Start in the standing position, load with no step, and jump straight up using both arms. The measurement is displayed in inches on the VERT app and takes the standing reach to the height of the fingertips at the top of the jump. The athlete is allowed a full approach and instructed to take a maximal swing. The ball contact must be near the top of the ball to get an accurate number. This measurement is in inches from the floor to the top of the ball. This is like an approach touch, but typically four to six inches lower due to the requirement of actually contacting the ball in a true swing. Just like the attack height, she is allowed a full approach and instructed to take a maximal swing near the top of the ball. This measurement is taken on the same swing as attack height to create testing consistency between the two. We'll take the arm swing speed in miles per hour. The purpose of this test is to quantify the player's speed, quickness, and athleticism. She starts in the middle of the court sets off the timing device by breaking the invisible beam and moving 15 feet to her left and touching the floor. Changing directions, the athlete sprints 30 feet across the court to the other touch line and finishes by again changing directions and sprinting 15 feet back across the original line. This is measured in seconds. This test is as simple as it looks. She starts in the position of her choice, facing the finish line. The timing begins with the first movement through the invisible beam and finishes when the athlete sprints through the second beam 15 feet away. And just like Pro Agility, we measure this in seconds.